Hello everybody and welcome to Ask Posh. We are so excited that you were able to join us today on this gorgeous fall day in Pennsylvania. It's sweater weather, look at this. Yeah. And we didn't even send notes to each other. It's like <laughs> amazing. Of course, it's only gonna be one week of sweater weather and then we're gonna be in coat and glove weather already. I hear we're having our first freeze coming up in about three days. I mean, one week of fall, that's all we've got, and now we're going into winter. So, we're gonna bear with it. But talking about fall, we just got back from Bridal Market. It was so exciting in New York, getting to see all of our designers that we already have bought dresses from. We can't wait to tell you all about our new dresses, but you're gonna have to wait for that sneak peek. So, we still have some dresses coming in to be able to wrap it up for spring of 2019. So we're gonna show you some pictures soon, or actually we'll probably show them live to you, and um, all that kind of good stuff. So we're very excited about that. Um, brides, we're, we're starting to wrap up the fall because of course September and October are our busiest months for brides and their weddings. And uh, Karen, who's sitting beside me, who's from Drew Moore Estate, and I'm so excited that you're with me today, had, of course, three weddings over the weekend. They are just really booking a lot of weddings there. So if you want a gorgeous place to go, Drew Moore Estate is where it's at. Of course, everybody's had a hard time with this season because of the weather. Yeah. I mean, just rain, 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 and no sun. So all everybody's grounds are not like they are in any of the pictures. It's just what it is. Um, so we just, you know, what we have to keep focused on is it's the day of your wedding and two people are coming together with their families to get married and that's what it's all about. Nothing else but that. And that's how we have to stay focused on the whole thing. So, uh, but you know, there's always some fun parts about the day of the wedding and that's why Karen's here with us today. So Karen, we are going to do something fun for all of you to get to do because it's not only just about weddings, but we have parties coming up for the we season. Do. We have Thanksgiving right. and Christmas, and you know you might be having special parties at the house that you may just have some friends over just for a gathering, and you wanna do something more than just a table treatment on, you wanna, you wanna do a fancy napkin folding. So today, we're doing napkin folding. We thought this would be fun. So right. if any of you like or origami, this is kind of up your alley, and if you don't, we're gonna make it easy for you. So, Karen, right. let's do this. All right, we're gonna start with some simple napkin folds because, I mean, it, it just sets the whole stage for the meal. It lets yeah. your guests know that you cared enough to do something, and it doesn't have to be complicated. I'm gonna start with some a really simple napkin fold, and, um, because it's a very it's very basic, but it's also um, very practical for a lot of reasons. This is just a pocket fold, and uh, um, what's good about it is that it's easy to stick a menu in, or if or you can stick your silverware in it, or you can put a sprig of um, some kind of herb. So you start with a square napkin, and napkins are different. Uh, the fabric can be different quality, so different napkin folds tend to have. A, use different quality. This is kind of a medium. It's not too heavy. It's not starchy. Um, but not all napkins will hold. So if you're having a problem, this this particular fold, any kind of napkin uh, fabric will work. So you start by folding the napkin in a third like that. You fold the other side up. Flip it over. Fold it in half and fold it in half again. How simple is that? Now, at this point, you could slip a napkin in there, you could slip your silverware in there, you could slip a sprig in the neck, and it's I just love it. that simple, but yet your guests know you took a little bit of time to do something a little bit special. And you could put, if you have name place cards, mm -hmm. you could slip that in, put the name, yep. which would be really fun. Yep, I love it. Very simple. Okay, so that's someone. Oh boy. Now, I've never done instruction on this, so Karen's so much better at this. So we're <laughs> going to do the bishop's hat. <laughs> so I have all, you know, if you're having a problem and don't have linen napkins at home, as you know from a couple weeks ago, we went to special occasions. Mm -hmm. And Claudia will be happy to sell you a dozen napkins for on your table. She has beautiful She things. has gorgeous napkins. And you need nice quality napkins to do this. You can't do this with paper. You can try, 
But I really don't know that. No. So anyhow, I have beautiful, it's a jacquard weave. They're lovely linen napkins. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to take these all off the table. I like to press all my napkins first. I'm a little nutso about that. So we're going to do this in a triangle. And then the next step, we're going to take this. I'm sorry, I'm cheating a little bit. We're going to go fold it like this. And we're going to fold this like this. So now we have another diamond, okay? And then we're going to take and we're going to fold this up. And we're going to fold this down like such. And then we're going to flip this over like this. And all we're going to do is come around and tuck this inside. And what's really fun about this one is it gives us actually three different possibilities. Now when I flip it up, there's your look right there. Okay, and hopefully it's not with the dog hair. Yeah. Take dog hairs off of all napkins before you set the table. Okay, or cat hairs, whatever you have. Okay, so there's your bishop's hat, nice. which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to make what they call a butterfly, you can take this down like this. And you can do that. Fun. And you could stick something in there too. And you can also stick something yeah. in there. And then another thing that you can do is you can always tuck this in like this. And now we have a third way. Just from one style of napkin folding, you have three different looks. Really nice. Yep. So I'll so, mine over there. Next, I'm going to do what's called a pointed roof. And what's interesting, it's very similar start to what Janelle just did. You take your square napkin and you fold it into a triangle. And then you take both ends and take those points up. It's exactly what she did with hers. We flip it over, flip it up where the flap part is at the top, and then simply turn it around, and I there you that. go. Yeah, Very I do that all the time. simple. This is a great look. And, it really and it'll bring a little dimension to your table. Yes. If everything on your table is flat, flat, you need a little bit of dimension, I think it's a nice choice. I love that. And what's nice about this is you can either put it on your plate like this or you can do your plate like this too. Right. So you can put it either direction. Mm -hmm. and a lot of fancy restaurants, they use this all the time. And you know why? Why? Because when you have to do two or three hundred of them, you can do them ahead of time, leave them like that, oh. and then all you have to do is pick them up and do this. How clever. So that's why we use them a lot. That one is a little bit harder to yes. fold all ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's clever. And mm -hmm. I do this a lot at home. I love that. Yeah. And going off of that, is actually you can do this and I'm going to do the next one is my bird of paradise mm -hmm. and it's very similar to this okay. so I'm going to get another one here and I'm going to cheat because I turn the page <laughs> I'll make sure I don't teach you all. <laughs> I don't do this as often as what I could but anyway okay so once again we're going to do let's see instead of doing the triangle we're doing it in squares squares Oops, sorry. I have to cheat for one second. I have to get this in my brain. Okay, this is going to go this direction. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sometimes you have to think about it. I have it. to think about it. This is not what I'm expecting. Why am I? Okay, I'll let you do another okay. one while I Okay, I'm going to do a tuxedo out. fold while she figures that out. So this is kind of a fun, fun one, two, and very, very simple. So again, you fold it into the triangle. You flip over just the edge, and this edge is going to become your collar, okay? You flip this back over, and you bring down one side and the other side, and you can see how this is oh, your yeah, collar yeah. right there already. You can see it. Then simply to finish it, you just fold that up and tuck these over and flip it and and it's that simple and then if you like you know you can take and play with this collar a little bit to make it oh I love that yes it looks like a little looks like a little kimono or a tuxedo, or a tuxedo. Yeah. 
and you know I did oh, it really cool. quickly but then also you can I don't didn't have a really good bow tie but you could put a little bow or something here How the other is thing is you know if you have a favor you could put a box of chocolate here or or your favor or something like that isn't that cute? the bow tie uh, is lacking a little bit but at least it gives you the idea I love that that's great okay, okay. I'm gonna start all over <laughs> we'll go to the road the artichoke <laughs> okay Maybe I'll get this one right. Okay, so we're gonna take our four corners and we're gonna turn them in. Like this. This one I remember for some reason. I don't have to cheat on this one, it's so funny. Isn't it interesting how some you remember and then other ones, if you don't practice them? Yeah. Yeah, so there, all corners went in like this. Then we're gonna turn this like this and we're gonna do this again. Now what's fun about this one is you can put um, you can put something in here like a glass or you can put a flower or you can put your card like your name card you take the corners now and you're going to fold them bring them out like this mm -hmm. so you keep turning it keep your hand in place here So you have your something in the middle there, right? and there you go. Yeah, that's nice because you put your favor there. Yeah, you can put a little mm -hmm. favor. Mm -hmm. So if you have something, a little gift for the family, you can put it right there in the center and it's a really pretty look. Yeah, it's just really a nice way yeah. to decorate the table up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do for my next fold a rose. And this is super simple, but it looks really cool. And I had a bride earlier this year who did this, um, I, I suggested this fold for her because her name cards were little um, butterflies. Oh. And so that just worked really well to have the rose and then have the butterfly sitting on top. So a lot of these start out the same mm -hmm. way. We're gonna fold this just like we did with a tuxedo fold. And then we're going to, um, we're going to flip this See, now I'm doing what you're... Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so we're going to do that, and then this is... Yeah, we're just going to fold this up. All we have to do is fold this up all the way. So you got about four inches from the top. Yep. Just like that. Then you flip it over. And simply roll. This is such a really, really simple Ooh, one. Then all you fun. do is roll this all the way down, leaving yourself just enough to tuck to tuck Ooh. and if you have a hard time getting the tuck in with your fingers and you're doing a whole bunch of these you might want to get a knife or something to poke that down it makes it a little bit easier okay so there's your rows oh. and these become you take these two ends and you pull them out and they become your leaves, your leaves. Oh, I so love we, it. We frequently do this a lot for um, like the cake table just because it looks pretty with the and we brought it like a little, you know, if you have a little butterfly or a bug or something that you can sit Aww, on. It's kind of. How fun is that? Yeah. Whoops. Well, anyway. this is the wrong kind of thing, but. Yeah, no, it works. It, it, it'll work. I mean, if you're, you know, it's not a name card, but just to yeah. give you the idea of what it could look like. Exactly. She had a little clip that just clipped right onto that and it, it was, it was really nice. Oh, so, cool. I mean, you could also go. use those little tiny at uh, AC Moore. They have the little tiny, uh, like, clothespins mm -hmm. that are little that you could make a little name card on, glue yep. it to that, and then pinch it on, yep. which yeah, would be really fun. This edge so that it would look. But anyway. I love it. Yeah, real simple, but can really dress up your table. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try the Bird Paradise one more time. I'm not giving up here. I never give up. Anyhow, okay, back to, we're gonna put those four corners together. Then we're turning this up like this. Okay, then we're turning this down like, ah, I think I have it. I think I have it, I think I have it. Okay, this gets turned this direction, then this gets turned, ah, I, I have it. Okay, you turn this down, folded it and just like what you were showing me with the first one mm -hmm. so you could leave these like in a pile 
like this, mm -hmm. and then all you have to do is turn this down, this flips up, and then each one individually, this is your bird of paradise. Mm -hmm. You pull these little guys right. up. One, two, three. So if you have a luau, and you're looking for something to go with those umbrellas in your drinks, there we go. We've got a bird of paradise. Nice, yeah. See? Ta-da! All right. Ah, Karen's got the last one going here. Last but not least, yep. I'm gonna do a, a taller one. This is uh, called the candle. So you take, I had these folded, sorry for the, I had these folded this morning and I should have ironed them and undone them and ironed them, but I didn't. And sometimes you'll still you get the, you'll get the you idea. You'll get the idea, and okay. the thing about it is you don't, you don't necessarily with napkins need to iron them to be able to do this. And so this one fine. isn't perfect. Most no. napkins aren't perfect. No. When you rent them especially, they come. And it yeah. doesn't matter. So they, not, they can be very forgiving. Yep. So again, you fold it. Some folds are, some folds aren't. So you should practice to see if you have a forgiving fold or not. This one's very forgiving. So again, we start in a triangle and we flip up that edge again. Okay. Turn it over again. See how similar oh, so many yeah. of them are. We're going to fold this down. Just one of the flap, one side of the flap, and then we're going to fold that one up. Oh! And then we will start folding this and rolling again. Very similar to the rose, only, and we oh. tuck it in again. Okay. This is called the candlestick. This is called the candlestick. Okay. And it stands up on the table and looks like that. Love it. Okay. Love it. So and a I, lot of different shapes, but yeah. these are kind of similar. They're all very, these are really simple these folds. Are great. She did much more complicated folds. <laughs> but they're beautiful. You know me. Okay. Have you ever tried doing those? I, I haven't been on one of the cruises, but we've been to Disney. Uh, how they take towels and do all this stuff? Yeah. I have no clue how they do that. I used to be able to do the monkey and the dog, but I haven't done it for a while. Oh I'd, my have to, gosh. I'd have to look at the video. It's so <laughs> much fun. So, um, we'll post, I have a picture book here, a diagram. We'll post a couple of them on this feed so that you can do a couple of these if you weren't following along. And we, of course, we're doing it backwards to you. But otherwise, we'd have never gotten this done. So, um, anyway, um, why don't you post one that you might have done at home and share it with us on um, how you do napkin folding. And no, I don't mean just fold it in half and stick it beside the fork. I mean something a little bit more fancy than that, please. Um, but anyway, I'm so glad that you came, Karen. Thank you so much. For this having is, me. I was fun. This is fun. And just remember, Karen's from Drew Moore Estate. They're having some really fun things go on for the uh, holidays. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing for the holiday this yeah, year? We're actually going to do a dinner theater for the first time. We're going to do um, a Christmas Carol by Dickens, and we'll have a buffet dinner and a show on December 7th. We have an evening performance, and on the 8th, we're going to have a matinee. And so, how many people can come to this? Um, we can fit 140 people. And you each. have 70 already tickets sold, and it just yeah. it was announced. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, get your tickets. Well. That's really yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yes, and Servant Stage is going to be doing the Servant theater. Servant Stage is doing the theater, and um, Drew Moore will be doing the catering. And if you're interested, you can get on DrewMoreEstate.com and find out all the information. And get tickets, because yeah. I think that would be a really lovely thing for you to take your family to. It's a, it's a child-friendly show. Yeah, and Saturday is a matinee. It's more child-friendly. Um, on Friday night is a BYOB. Ooh. Okay. Well, well so is we Saturday, but I, I expect we're going to have more children on Saturday since it's a matinee. Sure, sure. Yeah. I love it. Well, I think that's a wonderful idea. I was so tickled when I saw that come in our email that I was like, that's an exciting concept. And I know that Servant Stage does such an excellent idea. You. You'll have a wonderful time with great entertainment. And what's better at the beginning of the month of December than get you into the holiday spirit but seeing the Christmas Carol. So I thought that was an excellent Excellent choice for your first time launching a dinner theater at Drew Moore. <laughs> I think that's really great. Um, but obviously, weddings are their shtick down there. They really are doing them. And one of our employees uh, is going to be using Drew Moore in September of uh, this year, 2019, coming up. So we can't wait to be down there for one of our brides. So we're very excited about I'm that. I'm sure she'll have a beautiful dress. <laughs> she just picked it up so we're well didn't pick it up she picked it out so yeah it's gonna be a Janelle Berthe 
It's lovely. Yeah. Great. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah, we're very excited. So, um, but anyway, uh, we want to thank you all for watching Ask Posh. I hope you got some new ideas. This is always so much fun. And um, I know my husband and I enjoy doing this kind of thing. So if you have a partner that enjoys getting involved in setting the table, this is one of those things that you can do as a couple. And it really is a fun um, kind of exercise to do together. And uh, hopefully there's not too much yelling and screaming. Um, so <laughs> we wish you the best for this holiday season. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week because I think we might have something to eat or maybe, I don't know, I think there's somebody coming that does sweets. So you'll have to dial in and see what goes on. So have a great week. Enjoy this beautiful fall weather. Get your sweaters out and uh, we'll see you raking leaves soon. So take care. I'm Janelle and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.